Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rookie Balboa run. Where we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with only rookies. Damn right, rookies have to carry through this. Ordinary people like you and me need to step up to the fight against the aliens. Guerrilla Ops Operation Burning Snake. Is the next thing that we need to do we got a scientist on the line and i would want to have that scientist moreover there is the gone to ground dark event which we of course want to cancel um the closing of uh, the black market would not be very nice uh, it would make our follow-up campaign much much more difficult so we're going to definitely counter that neutralization of a field commander is actually moderately difficult only for us if we find the right uh, angle and approach to him we might as well snipe him and then sort of try to stay alive we got uh, single concealments uh, for our team which is great and even better look at that we are uh, gone are the days with only four hit points we have eight hit points is every single one of them is now wearing a predator armor we got ourselves two uh, med kits. I bought an additional one. We got ourselves one uh, of the good old skull jacks. Uh, we have three normal grenades, and on top of that, a flashbang. I still need, yeah, that extra ammunition in order to make it work. But for now, we're fine. Uh, can definitely tell that we need better weapons as well. As slowly but surely, we're being outdated by the enemies, but. I think in this month it's the first uh, mission, so since Vipers had been last month, this month's uh, Mutants will be the next, plus a slightly upgraded version of Advent. All of that, of course, is going to make the mission much more difficult. Alright, so we have landed. We can school Jack. But the main topic today will be killing that field commander. And we will have as much time as we want until we hit that first pack. So the way that I would want to play this mission is hopefully not like a stealth mission. I much rather like to explore as much ground as we can whilst being mindful that if we accumulate packs uh, this all uh, can very soon turn into a problem. Go, go, go. As I mentioned multiple times, XCOM is not a roguelike game. Okay, well, so much for for the first pack. XCOM is not a roguelike game. Uh, that would be too dangerous. Beat, beat. Which means we don't want to just sneak our way through the mission. They are moving away. We just, we just uh, want to engage the first pack, but maybe with the knowledge where that uh, field commander actually is. Still trying to find him. All right, let's move all the way over here. Staying out of line of sight. This is the typical L shape. Um, you might notice it from here. That's the typical L shape of the canal. And what I'm trying to do I'm on the move. is to get in position as fast as possible. Okay, they are over here. Understood. I do have a teamwork if needed. Got a group of hostiles over objective here. here. Nice, nice. Okay, that's exactly whom we wanted to see. Loaded comet. Double time. Got it, moving. Okay, those two are going to be a bit of a problem. They are quite a distraction. I'd like to uh, shoot him. 
As long as he's moving into that corner, I'm fine, because this is always kind of the end of uh, the map. You do have that dead end here. We're unfortunately trapped, so we need to engage now. But the engagement looks favorable as far as I'm concerned. Don't want to go down with a school jig yet. Okay. We need to do something about the massive, uh, the massive armor. So what I would suggest is, what I would suggest is, fairly confident that we will be able to kill both of them. Move in here, Overwatch, and. Uh, let's keep it like that for now. Um, we still got enough shots left over. Frag out. Good, that should be a kill against uh, um, the Re captain. This is an extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. Very good. And even better. I don't want to trigger anyone uh, down there. Is there, is there any space, like right here? That's not a good space, I can. Got it. But it is a high chance of hitting it. I'm all right. Okay, so what are we dealing with? Uh, 96%. I hate to kind of hand over an action when, when we're when the chances are so high, but this is a 4% chance of being a recipe for disaster. Okay, well, lucky. Uh, lucky for us. If this year it would have been a cluster of, um, of uh, rockets, oh boy, that would have been a problem. Good, we can see the general there. I don't want him to leave, so what I suggest is happening is let's trigger him with a flashbang it's a bit of an unconventional method but it will reduce his movement rate greatly so which means now that we're triggering him can't just boogie out All right, removing cover, kind of a no-brainer here. All right. Moving to designated position. Cleaning the field. My problem is why exactly can't we see him? Let's use the teamwork. The guy also has defense. That is nasty. Alright, still disoriented. Just standing in the open. Well, that is very much fine by me. Moving up. 
He has 15 defense, which makes him even harder to hit. What a prick. Done. All right, come on. We want those sweet, sweet crits. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Good, we got a grenade and I'm so willing to use it. Moving up will be dangerous. Oh, it's still close enough. Come on, kill him. Okay, now it. I know it absolutely sucks to use your. To use your explosives like this. Let's rock. First reload. This is for you. But I want to make a hundred percent sure that we have. All the advantages on our side. Good. Now the enemies will charge in. No, we don't. Uh, we we won't allow to okay. let them recover the general's body. But what we will do first is kind of find our sweet sweet uh, spot right here. Take the good old high ground. Reload, Overwatch, and Jarangs is the scout for now. Unfortunately, they already spotted us out. All right. As if I would have predicted it, it's always what happens. The moment that you're killing that stupid general, enemies are starting to pour in. It's like an open invitation. 70% uh, was a miss. Unfortunate. It's like an open invitation. 72%. Good job. Seventy-four percent. There we go. Stun lancer down. And hmm. I think I like Jarenx as a scout for now. Moving here could trigger another pack, so I'm just going to Overwatch. Well, he has been spotted out. It's okay. Uh, now it's now it's becoming ugly. Oh, this mech here is a problem. Matter of fact, most of these guys are an actual problem. We move up to here. We don't know if there is another pack though. That level of aggression might might be punished. No more healing supplies available. So. What's the biggest problem? I mean, the mech is definitely an issue. We can't cluster up like that. The Viper, however, is also a problem. High ground, full cover. I think we're going to stay here. At least for a bit. up but that would be dangerous to we'll move up to here blankable just a problem to we'll fall back to here unfortunately not to here which would be a relatively good position 
I still like the high ground because it'll give us a few bony. Full cover here wouldn't be bad. I mean, we gotta deal with the cover situation. Uh, we gotta take really good cover is what I'm trying to say. Purifier is not the biggest problem, but it was the best target to deal with at the beginning. Could move over here. But that almost disqualifies us for future uh, for future positioning. Or we could stay up here. And just overwatch. Which isn't bad either. I think we need to fall back. Nice here is too exposed. Position confirmed. Can get into half cover here. And try to go for flanking maneuver. It's not the worst idea. Moving to designated position. And Shinrod here moves over. Still a 50-50, we're better off with overwatching. Alright, come on. Some damage, alright. Double move, okay cool, that was, that was good. Um, a Aaron here can self-apply a heal, thanks to the med kit. That's only a move action, and we're still good. All right, worked like a charm. Time for reload and a kill. Very nice. Good, moving into a decent position over here. Don't uh, do not want to get too close so that the poison spit is not an option. But what we can do is I can move into a concealed position and start flanking next turn. Overwatch so that we're the main target. There's the poisoning I was talking about. Unfortunate. We have another medkit, right? Yeah, we can cure the poison. Good, so that's the flank right here. Unfortunately dodged. And that's a fantastic flank. Very nice. Okay, well, all things considered, that actually went relatively well, I would say. So, we had to deal with um, pretty harsh enemies, but uh, the damage was on the lower end, but our defense for once was good. Alright, fantastic. So, I mean, the main advantage of uh, the last mission definitely was having uh, the med kits and eight hit points instead of four which helped us a lot okay there had been uh, a bit of a bit of damage but still it was it was all good confirm another bond thank you so these two are now also bond mates which is great Alarum Core, we got an advanced repeater, 10% chance of killing our target. That's exactly the type of gear which we need in this run. Hello. 
going to fully focus on the repeaters if possible just to somewhat offset uh, the struggle that we're in and we got one day off of our magnetic weapons thanks to the additional scientist we're now at six scientists effectively which for months number three is remarkable doesn't help though that overall we're still behind i mean from a research perspective we're not but research is only one aspect the other is getting your soldiers kind of leveled up um, and and also um, getting a proper kind of expansion going and we're a bit behind on those aspects okay roby nicely finished that mission before we're continuing let's see did, did roby and diva finally get that bond okay roby got a chance here of a soldier bond with diva there we go good and we got a couple of bonds going which is great roby and diva Jurangs and Aaron uh, and Shinrod and Axe, I think, uh, are the ones. I should have installed uh, the mod that allows you to uh, to give each of the bonds a tiny bit of a different outline and color. Good. Experimental ammo is on the way. Magnetic weapons are on the way, and we got, I think, another engineer. Might as well start deploying them here. Training center is is a nice addition, but not needed right now. So I would like to get that health plus one, but it seems the game is preventing us from letting rookies get more health. Which, if you ask me, is an absolute disaster but uh, maybe it is also that increased combat intelligence i don't know maybe that's preventing it so either of these is a blocking factor for rookies we got another hacking plus five and let me just see who the quote unquote best hacker is can't believe that i'm even trying to let someone be a hacker. Roby has like nine points uh, there. Divert has five. Okay. Well, I suppose Roby Roby continues to improve his hacking skills here. Not even sure if that's going to make a huge difference, but so we're looking then at fourteen hacking. I think the average values are around seventy-five. So not sure if we're going to see. A decent hack during this entire campaign but might as well let him and diva continue there's a chance for an ambush nah, i don't want an ambush sucks giving away 25 intel resource rewards would be increased by 15 percent that's a really nice uh, reward for us mainly because we only have really bad um, resistance orders at the moment so yeah that could be an option unfortunately we're down on intel if you wonder why i'm i spending intel so recklessly the answer is the less intel you have the li more likely it is that intel will become a reward of one of the missions and therefore you don't have to worry about it um operation frost slayer however with losts looks like one of those missions where we need to get uh, crates out of uh, there but that's definitely going to happen in the next episode how many more days until we upgrade the weapons four okay we got su we, we need supplies for um the weapon upgrades but we could always sell something uh, gotta be a bit careful though not to not to just be reckless with our supplies. I am wondering if it is worthwhile for now to 
focus on getting additional ammunition. This year speeds it up by 50%. So let's maybe use the proving ground and the resistance center. These are our sort of only sources of a little bit extra power at this point. And there isn't much coming down the line. Yes, uh, I could rush Psylabs and start training Psyops to then use the Psyops in order to get the GTS upgrade. And maybe I should do that. But uh, that would require a different research tree. And realistically, what I will do first and foremost is to get to the highest level of armor and the highest weapon uh, weaponage because that is the biggest advantage that we could get right away. Everything else is a bit of a distraction. We need hit points to, uh, and we need damage, a lot of damage. Um, on, the other, on the other hand, having a squad of six would make our life much, much more easy compared to a squad of four. Like this four-man rookie run is a problem. So if we are looking at, uh, at other options here... I mean, the face autopsy certainly is great. Having a mimic beacon would help us a lot. So that'll potentially happen soon. Mind shields wouldn't be bad either. Um, yeah, we haven't killed a turret yet, so blue screen rounds is not a thing. But yeah, those two would be great. And I think we might need to also do the trooper at some point so that we can actually start researching Ilarium. I would need to look up the research tree. I think Ilarium uh, required, uh, required a trooper, a trooper as one of uh, the many prerequisites. I might be wrong on that one. Okay, so yeah, that's that's going well. I think once we have magnetic weapons, we are, at least from a damage perspective, again up up to par, but we would need to research Alarium anyways, and then it's the question, do we want to dabble into uh, the Psionic Chamber really quick, build the Psionic Chamber and, and start training uh, a couple of Psy operatives, or are we going for... Are we going for the rush on to Plasma? I don't have an idea yet. Never thought that through. But we will also look at the days that it takes in order to research uh, all of that and make a decision. I think it's potentially worthwhile, to be honest, to, to either... It's a, it's a difficult decision. Maybe it is worthwhile upgrading the weapons because we only need one weapon upgrade. All of the follow-up weapon upgrades are irrelevant for us. We just need the assault rifle. Um, and that would be another major damage boost. And then maybe afterwards we're going for uh, psionics because having a fifth and a sixth soldier are is, is very, very helpful for the, uh, for the later end game. Good, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy the struggle and the pain that this rookie run is, because um, I certainly do. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. If you liked it, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. The likes are equally important. And if you haven't uh, yet subscribed, it's a great option if you like uh, YouTube uh, content of XCOM 2 to follow the channel. Thanks and see you soon. Bye bye.